Where does this end? It's a question I've been asking myself a lot. The best advice I ever got as a programmer was to start with the end in mind. This is from my friend, Will Wilson. If you think about how hard it's gonna to be to extract something later, it changes the way that you implement it in the beginning. This was a revelation to me and totally informed the way that I operated as a front-end architect. With it, I've made solutions that have lasted almost a decade now, which is crazy to think about given how fast technology moves. But this, what we're doing here is kind of the opposite. For years, I've applied that same mindset to content, more broadly and extremely indulgently, art. Very much talking lowercase a art, which I think of more as sharing. I didn't start this project with an end in mind. In fact, when I thought about the end, that's the thing that scared me the most. What if I open all this up and take on a role that other people think is maybe beneath what their perception of me was? That's a kind of a weird thing to worry about, but it's in there. Does that then impact the broader perception of my capabilities, I guess, and inform any other potential that I may have in like getting a better job after that? Dang, these things are heavy when you hold them. My wife, Nellie, shared with me yesterday this concept from a newsletter called The Enthusiast. They were talking about one of my favorite creators, Fred Rogers, from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and how he operated his life under this concept of a guided drift. There were principles that put him on a direction, but the path was a little bit more of a drift. You didn't know exactly how you were gonna get there, what was going to put you in the right spot to get you towards your goal. That is very much this. I don't know what comes next. I'm very much drifting, but the principle that has never let me down is that when you reach out, good things happen. Could be for me, could be for you, could be for all of us, but good things happen when we open ourselves up, expose ourselves to the wild possibilities that could be. I had never seen something like this. And the engineering side of me wanted to start with the end in mind, but I really felt like there was a lot more to explore. I guess that's all to say, I'm overwhelmed with gratitude for the conversations that you've been willing to have with me. And I hope that what we're doing here together is meaningful to you as well. Thank you so much for watching. You can catch another one in this series up here and another random video down here. Bye.